Oxid. So, ibig sabihin carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. Ano ang chemical component ng parts? Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen din. Kaso lang, ang itsura lang niya is linear. Ang sa sugar, uh, circular. Ganon. Pero, ang protein, ang ano mayroon? Carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. May amino kay amino acid ba yan ang protein? So, there is nitrogen and there is an amino acid with sulfur. Sa 20 amino acids, there are two that are sulfur. So, ibig sabihin, ang karne ay mayroong nitrogenous waste. Ngayon, yun ang palaging pinapapon ng kidney. Pag magkaroon kayo ng kidney, uh, what, what you call this, process of a filtering. Now, ngayon, pag ang pasyente mo ay kidney patient or kidney failure, ano dapat ang gawin mo na maganda, na wala pang damot? Intervention lang physiologically. Sabihin mo sa pasyente, dahil mayroon kang kidney failure, bawasan mo muna ang kidney. Bakit? Nandoon nagagaling ang urea, nandoon nagagaling sa kidney ang ammonia, nandoon nagagaling sa kidney ang urea. Ha? That means, wala pang gamot, wala pang gamot mo ginagamit mo, and yes, you can now intervene people with kidney failures. Why? You are now reducing the load of the kidney. Because the kidney, the kidney's work is to pop on all the nitrogenous waste. So, may magandang may tulog. Now, much more so, anong may sabi mo ngayon? Yung isa kong pasyente na realize three times a week, dahil nakarinig siya sa emorgen, nakarinig siya ng cretides, sa lecture, nabigyan siya na, or bumili siya, kumakayaman niya. Eh. Actually, ang ayong pasyente na yan, mayroon siyang oxygen ready sa kanyang car, mayroon siyang oxygen ready sa bahay, wherever he goes. Bakit? But after two days of dialysis, ilan pa naman siyang mahinga. So ngayon, nung uminom na siya ng emorgen, emorgen, ang isang botelya namin, ay 100 cc laang. Ang sabi ng mong nag-combina sa kanya, Sir, uminom ka lang isang teaspoon sa umaga, isang teaspoon sa gabi. I would like to tell you this. I was so touched and very umiyak sa doon. After finishing one bottle, isang kabuting niya lang yung katapos niya. Nagtaka siya, bakit hindi na siya nagtagod? Eh, naglumapas na ang dialysis. Eh, ang mas matter of fact, Pumunta siya sa kanyang doktor, late na siya by two days. Nung pumunta siya, sinabihan, Uy, ano pa nga ano? Uh, James yata, bakit hindi ka nag-report ng dialysis mo? Late ka na ng two days. Ang sabi niya, eh, doktor, uh, hindi naman ako nakapagod. Hindi naman ako na, eh, hindi naman ako nag-report ng dialysis. Alam mo, doktor, mas i-challenge kita ngayon, mag-jagging pa yung dalawa. <laughs> Then, nagsaka ang doktor, sabi niya, Huh? You were on dialysis for all, more than three years? Three times dialysis in a week? And now, you are telling me that there is no more dialysis? What did you do to yourself? Sabi niya, Doktor, uh, mayroon lang akong, nagpunta ako ng alternative, kasi yun siya, hindi drugs, alternative ang tawag ko. Para sa akin, it's not alternative. It is even in fact scientific. Why? You are now, The person was taking nucleotides. Morning, five teaspoon in the morning, or oh, one teaspoon in the morning, one teaspoon in the evening, and after finishing one bottle, it's three times dialysis. That week, huh? It's three times the rest is per week. was reduced to only one. And last week, para pagkamaden. And two weeks ago, he again visited the office and bought another bottle. And thereafter, last week, napag-alaman po na clear na siya ang sabi ng doktor dahil normal na ang creatinine mo, normal na ang BUN mo, pwede ka na hindi pa kaya rin. After this particular incident, dinala ko doon yung case history, case study sa mga kasamahan kong doktor doon sa Department of Biochemistry. Sabi ko, Dika nga, mga siguro lima pa ng doktor, sabi ko, Paki-explain mo nga kung ano nangyari ito sa pasyente. Three times dialysis in a week. And yet, after taking the origin for just one bottle, that means 100cc lang. Tapos, 
Dahil 5 cc ang morning, 5 cc ang evening, ibig sabihin 10 cc lang ang araw sa araw. Eh ang 100 cc lang araw yon. 10 days na. After 10 days, yung pasyente na nag-realize 3 times a week, nagiging once a week na lang. And now, hindi na siya nag-realize. Sabi ng, sabi ng aking sa mga Dr. Clarice, there's only one reason for that. That means the kidney, dati hindi siya nakaihi eh. That means the kidney is now revived. Meaning, new nephrons are developed. Why? Nucleotides have been spread. And because nucleotides are the very cause for the construction of the DNA, every cell, every cell function, every structural function, every enzyme in the cell are made of proteins. But proteins must need DNA. So therefore, if you are, if there's going to be a recuperation, if there's going to be a re, what you call this a repair, there must be a supplementation of nucleotides. Ang sabi na ng doktor, the doctor, there's only one reason bakit nakaihi na siya. That means may bagong nephrons ang lumalabas sa kanya ang kidney. That is Dr. De Los Santos. Salamat ka natin. Dr. De Los Santos of the De Los Santos Medical Center is the owner of that hospital. He, were, he was already waiting for his kidney daughter. But after encountering him with him, hindi na siya nagpakitin transplant hindi na siya nag-realize. And you can even call him in the hospital, even now. And he will testify that he has already been able to recover because of the origin. Parapakan natin. What I'm trying to drive at is this. If kidney can be replaced, or kidney or the nephrons can be developed, why not the other organ? Now for the case of, I have a case of also in point. I have a diabetes type 1 patient. Meaning, ano ibig sabihin mo? Nalata or natira na ang kanyang pancreas. That means hindi na siya marunong ang kanyang katawan ay hindi na marunong gumawa ng insulin. But why is it that after taking 3 bottles, tatlong boti lang ng hemorrhagin na may nocrotides, hindi na siya na di-injection na ng insulin. Anong implication noon? Na ang kanyang katawan ay gumagawa na ng panibagong pangkreatik siya. Palakpakan natin yan. So ladies and gentlemen, if you are going to look at it from the point of view of medical therapeutics, ito siguro ang nakalimutan ng medical therapeutics. Isang matalang tinuturo naman ito sa medicine, kaso lang, hindi kinitiin. Na pala, ang isang baga, isang kaparte ng katawan na sisira, pwede pala mag-repair. Kaso lang, ang nalaman ng karamihan na doktor, ang mga organs that are highly specialized also recovers very, very slow. Sa so, katulad lang ng atay, ang atay ay 300 days bago sa mag-repair. Ibig sabihin, it takes time for them to be repaired. Hindi katulad ng balak na every 28 days napapalitan. Pero the point is, what makes the repair of the, the balak? It's still the reproduction of cells. But where are cells coming from? Cells are coming from the cell function, the cell structure, the cell enzymes are coming from proteins. But these proteins are coming from DNA. Therefore, if you are going to have a sufficient supply of nucleotides, there will be recuperation, repair, and regeneration of the organs of our body. So I even mar I even uh, marvel about this. What is your explanation? You in some babae na ayaw nang umate, nagkag-lecture ako doon sa pinakawan. Just, yan, last week. Yung babae yun, pag nakaupo yan, palagi siya nag-experience ng dampness sa kanyang tools. Pero while uh, 
nung pumasok sila, na sila ay pinainom namin ng Imogen, yung, yung Immune Plus. Nung nag-start na ako explain sa kanya about the effects of Imogen, sa tumindig siya ka agad, sabi niya, Doktor, meron lang akong sasabihin. At paliwanagan mo ako kung, kung ano, sabi niya. Doktor, ito talaga ang aking tools, no? Palagi yan ang nagdanap at masakit. Nung tuminom ako ng Imogen na yan, after sitting down there for one hour, sabi niya, Doktor, nawala talaga, Doktor, sabi niya. Sabi ko, ha? Ganun kabilis? For anyway, the testimony is really very revealing that even myself, is a star child. Sabi niya, that condition? Why? It takes about few minutes that the DNA could get into the cell. And the cell can, the, the, the membrane of the cell have those channels by which the nucleotides are able to pass through. And after that, the care will begin. As a matter of fact, in, my, in our experience, Imorigen can also be a prevention against yung mga pain, no? Yung mga nagsuffer na, for example, yung mga cancer na mayroong mga invasive na cells, they felt some pain. Pag pa-inom yung mga imorigin, talagang nakarilig ng pain. Of course, uh, I would not say that uh, it is for everybody. We cannot generalize. Bakit? Bawat isa sa atin, iba-iba ang ating genetic background. What is efficient in one person may not be efficient in another. But basically, we are all human beings. Siguro ang pinipendi lang sa tosay. That's why, my, my, my bagong emerging field ngayon sa pharmaco, sa pharmacology, you call it pharmacogenomics. Ang bawat para katawan natin, bawat parte ng katawan natin, nag-iiba ang nocturbites natin. Yung tinatawag, I don't know if you have heard about it, you call it the single nucleotide polymorphism. Anong ibig sabihin ng single nucleotide? Kung yari, ito yung kutina ng katawan. Uh, uh, by the way, hemoglobin for example, I'll give you one example. Hemoglobin, there are two types of hemoglobin, the alpha and the beta. The alpha hemoglobin resides in chromosome uh, 16. But beta hemoglobin resides in chromosome 11. Now, pag mayroong yung alpha hemoglobin, so supposing ikaw ito, ang alpha hemoglobin has 354 amino acids. Pero, bawat amino acid may tatlong nucleotide. So, ibig sabihin, ang nucleotide ang siyang gumagawa ng amino acid Ang, ang amino acid ang gumagawa ng protein. Ang protein nagiging cell and the cell will now function. That is now the IRP. Now, ang tao may itong tawa, single nucleotide polymorphism. Now, dahil tatlo ang nucleotides, tatlo ang nucleotides sa isang amino acid, ibig sabihin, kung i-multiply mo ito ng 3, so magkaroon ka ng 12, carry 1, 6, then, uh, 15, 16, 1,000, 1,062 nucleotide. Ang ibig sabihin ng SNPs or single nucleotide polymorphism is that so kung person A ito, sa 1 to 1,062, para natin sa bandang number 200 nucleotide, ang sa person A, ang kanyang nucleotide ay guanin. Ang sa person B, ang kanyang nucleotide sa 200 ay cytosine. Si person C, ang kanyang number 200 out of the 1062 ay probably tiny. This is what we call single nucleotide polymorphism. Ibig sabihin, iba yung nucleotide mo, iba ako. That's why I'm allergic to Anna. Or in pharmacogenomics, Di ba meron tayong nare-relate na? Doktor, yung process ba na binigay mo, doktor, parang walang itik sa akin. Ang binigay mo, doktor, is only 250 mg. Walang itik sa akin. Pero yung 250 mg, itik dito sa ibang tao. Yun ay dahil sa snakes. 
That's why in the in the present uh, pharmacologic approach, I am teaching pharmacology the AI. My long tinatawa personal messages. And these SNPs, and these SNPs are pwede mag-iba ang SNP, kung yari, ilopano ka, iba ang SNP mo sa Visaya, iba ang SNP mo sa Tagalog, and so on and so forth. That's why, dosaging now can be, can be now be a custom to the different SNPs of the individual. I would like to tell you, they are about, right now, they have already 58 million SNPs identified in humans. So, ibig sabihin, bawat isa sa atin, hindi natin ma eh, iba-iba talaga tayo. Maski magkapatid kayo, o maski twin pa kayo, it's still very, very specific because of the single notified polymorphism. Yung dugo ko at dugo ko. Example na lang. Blood type A. Blood type B. Pag parang ulit, red blood cell. Bakit magkaiba? That's why, <coughs> in the present dispensation, you will notice that the dosages of the drugs or even medicines are not the same for everybody. The same is true with the origin. While the other guy, ano yung sinabi ko sa inyo, it only take up, uh, it only took one bottle for the reduction of his uh, dialysis. Ang iba, kailangan pa nila ng three bottles. So, yun ang sibig sabihin ng individual difference. So, what is applicable on one person is not applicable on another person because of what? Single nucleotide polymorphism. So, yung PAA natin, <coughs> magkaiba-iba. But the, the most important uh, point that I'm trying to drive at now is the, ano ang important dito na ilagay natin? The possibility of a cellular regenerative. Meron ka na, di ba? Na kung yung diabetic ka, ano ba ang problema sa diabetic? Beta cells of the eye of lamaan. Kasi yun ang, yan sa pancreas na yan, may area dyan, pakita mo yung pancreas. Kung ito yung pancreas, ang pancreas kasi parang tongue-like structure, tapos pag makita mo sa microscope, mayroon silang mga eyelid, no? Sa loob ng eyelid, mayroong alpha, may beta, may delta, may, may isa pang cell. Ang alpha, yan ang gumagawa ng glucagon. Ang beta, ang gumagawa ng insulin. Ano naman ang role ng glucagon doctor? Ito. Pag ikaw ay ginoto, ang lumalabas sa pancreas ay glucagon. Ang purpose ng glucagon, yung glucagon will now convert the reserve, yung glycogen, magiging ulit asokal. Action na ng glucagon. Kaya after after being hungry, don't be in panic. Why? Your pancreas will now release what you call glucagon. For the glucagon to convert your reserve back to sugar. Kung mataas naman ang asukal mo, ang lumalabas hindi glucagon. Ang lumabas ay insulin. So that the insulin will now go to the target, open the channel for sugar, and then papasok na sila. Ang isang cell doon na tinatawag na delta cells are those that produce somatostatin. Ang somatostatin, pag nasubra yung insulin, somatostatin will stop. And then, pag nasubra naman ang glucagon, somatostatin will stop also the glucagon. So, parang preno lang siya. So, sa madaling sabi mga kapatid, kung ang isang tao na may diabetes ay binigyan mo ng imorigin, chances are that person will develop new pancreatic cells. And that is the very reason that explains that my patient who had been on the insulin for several years now are no longer taking those insulin and it is now normal after taking emerging because what is the reason? That person was able to develop new pancreatic cells through the supplementation of nucleotides. So it is now evident. As you can see, I joined this company because when, one, when it was given to me to study, I have read about 2,000 journals, evidence for clinical study, 
that notified intervention is a profound intervention against treated disease. Ito ang nakaligtaan ng medical therapeutics. Is kung samantala, kung titingnan mo, kung titingnan mo ang principle ng nucleotide supplementation, is a profound genetic control. Every part of the cell is controlled by genetics. Every part of the body is controlled by genes. As what I said, mentioned earlier, the difference in variability of the membranes of each tissue resides on the expression of the gene of every cell. And take note that the expression of the gene in the liver is different from the expression of the gene in the kidney, and different in the brain, different in the muscle, different in the skin, and so on and so forth. As a matter of fact, with all the 46 chromosomes, by the way, <coughs> ang katawan ng tao, <coughs> kung kompleto ang iyong proteins, it was found out in Human Genome Project, after they have mapped out all the proteins in the body, the total genome of the human body can produce about 30,000 proteins. Equivalent to 30,000 genes. But, what did I say? In the specialized cells, only 2 to 3% of genes are expressed. All the rest are Kaya sa skin mo, 2 to 3% lang ang napuproduce dyan. Para lang sa bala. Sa atay mo, ang DNA na na-express doon, para lang talaga sa bala, sa atay. Yung sa kidney mo, para lang din sa kidney. So what is important now, is that in order to revive your damaged cell, so in this case, a damaged kidney, all you need to do is supplement For lo and behold, if you have the nucleotides, you have the cells. Because there are no cells if there is no duplication of the DNA. The cardinal rule of cell duplication is always DNA duplication. I would like even to expand, para explain ko sa inyo, bakit ginagamit ang radiation for control of cancer cells? Ito. Pag ang ating pang ating ang DNA, pati rin siyong whiteboard, para ma- ma-explain ko sa inyo kung bakit ginagamit ang radiation for treatment of cancer. Kung sa matalang, distracted siya. Bakit? Kung ito yung ating DNA, ang DNA pala natin, para siya ang lobit. Tingnan ko, ganyan yung tura niya, DNA natin, ganyan. Pag natamaan ng araw yan, sun, ang araw ay may dalawang radiation na nakakasira sa ating DNA. Alam mo na mayroon ang araw natin ay may X-rays. Ang araw mayroon din siya gamma rays. rays. Ang gamma rays ay very powerful compared to X-ray. Kaya ang X-ray sa medical practice hindi magkanda na mag X-ray palagi sa isang taon kasi ang X-ray nakakaputol ng DNA. Ang gamma rays, ang gamma rays ay mas powerful siya kaysa X-ray. Kaya, uh, pag mayroon na gravitation, usually ang ginagat nila, cobalt. Kasi ang cobalt na isotope ay nagre-release ng gamma rays. Ngayon, pag cancer cell yan, o ito, pag cancer cell yan, pag na ang gamma rays ay i-expose na yung cancer cell, napuputol ang DNA. Kasi yung gamma rays nakapaputol ng DNA. It was found out that if the DNA is being hit and destroyed, the DNA, DNA duplication stops. So pag matamaan pala ang cell ng radiation, na nabibiyak yung DNA. And once that happens, the cell detects the DNA duplication stops. Because the DNA duplication stops, the cell will not divide. Why? The cardinal rule is every cell division is always preceded by DNA duplication. Ngayon, ang nangyarari pala, pag ang cancer cell ay na, na, karoon ng X-ray, 
magkaroon ng P53, which is a very power, powerful protein that will stop the duplication. Dahil na-stop ang duplication, there will be no cell divisions. That's why, if the cancer is irradiated to inflict DNA damage, it will now eventually stop cell division because there is no cell division unless the DNA is duplicated. Pero sa kasamang palad, pag nagpatawan ay in-expose ng radiation, hindi lang cancer ang natatamaan. Pati lahat. Kaya nagkaroon ng damage also to the normal cells. That's why pag nagradiation ka, talagang magkaroon ng masira yung cells mo. Pero ang maganda doon is, kaya ang ginaga, ginaga, ginagawa nila, pag nagradiation, ini-improve ang immune system. Pagkatapos ng radiation. Bakit? Ang cell hindi na siya nag-divide. So, i-boost na yung immune system. Sa katawa natin kasi, ang white blood cell, lalo na yung T-cell, can recognize now the cancer cell. So, kakainin na rin na. Hanggang, kinain na lang kinain, hindi na nakagalaw yung cancer. So, ang after radiation, nagkaroon na, nagkaroon na recuperation. That's why some, some radiations are successful. Especially kung bata pa yung nagradiation. Kasi mas mabilis ang cell division sa bata kumpleks sa cell division ng mga tatanda. Now, ngayon ang tanong, Dr. Pwede ba na ang immunogen gamitin mo to control cancer cells? Ito. Sa pag-aaral, is this again another clinical study? Na mayroon silang group of cancer cells at saka group of normal cells. Both of them were given no pitayos. Those, those cells that are normal, when supplied with nucleotides, they grow normal. But those cells that are cancer cells, which were given nucleotides, were regressing and decreasing. Why? As soon as, so since the, since the cancer cell is an abnormal cell, cancer cell is, it has a genetic instability, as what did they say? Low levels of nucleotide causes DNA to be unstable. May imagine mo ngayon yung instability niya, gagawa sana siya ng panibagong DNA, hindi niya magawa for lack of, lack of, lack of nucleotide. Siyempre yung gagawin niya sa na, nucleotide, hindi niya magawa. Bakit? Wala nga yung sangkat eh. So ngayon, that is why, in a, in a cell where there is low level of nucleotide, create what you call, Answer. Now, what if you are going to supply now nucleotides? What will happen? The body will now make new cells, and when the new cells are produced, it will now produce P53, and P53 is a tumor necrotic factor that will now destroy the cancer cell. And that was the reason why those cancer cells that will have yanila ng nucleotides, I will be it. Bucket. When the, when the nucleotides are supplied, the body will produce pristine and new cells that are capable of producing P53, which is a tumor necrotic factor. Kaya, ang nangyari, kasi bago siya, this is a new cell, and the new cell will produce the P53 and start to destroy the cancer cell. That's why tumors are now decreasing and decreasing. And that explains our patient, patient in vacuum has a brain tumor. But after taking hemorrhagin for three months, his tumor was greatly reduced. So much so that his doctor said, you need not radiation anymore. And the patient has been recovering until today. Talakpakan natin niya. So we can now say that the mechanism of, of this of this uh, particular supplementation resides in its scientific evidence. The scientific mechanism by which the DNA works. And I would like to tell you this, and this has been missing in many doctors. Doctors never realize that cells or tissues can regenerate. Last year, I went to the United States and took a course on, we call it the uh, neuroplasticity. Sa mga doctors, alam natin na ang tinuturo sa medicine noon 
na pag ang brain cells ay namamatay, hindi na siya na recover. That is no longer true today. It was found out that inside our brain are duplicate cells that they only develop when you produce or when you introduce multitanics. Mm -hmm. Those are inside our brain, there are what you call glial cells that are not yet differentiated as full grown, full blown brain cells. But when they are supplied, these brain cells that are and, and young, what call it, the glial cells, the astrocytes, the dendrocytes, they will now be differentiated in a full blown neuron. And according to the study that we had last year, the neurons that fire that wire together fire together. And the mechanism is this. Pag mayroon pa lang masira dyan ng neuron, may yung mga real cells na susuplayan sila ng BDNF. Ang actually BDNF are nucleotides. Brain-derived neurotrophic factors which are given to the patient. And then slowly, those mga young real cells are converted into a full-blown neuron that will now take over the role of the rotten and destroyed neuron. That's why yung mga na-paralyzed, yung mga na-stroke, when they were given BDNF and these are nucleotides, they were able to move again. So that, I'd like to tell you, even stroke and MI could be repaired. Why? Every tissue in the body has the capacity to renew or repair itself only if nucleotides are there. And this spirit is, I am strongly believe, and I will never be afraid because, because the science behind it is very, very sound. The scientific evidence pinpoints that, that every error in the body resides on the error of the DNA. Why do you have a disorder? Because you have a disorder. You have a disorder in your cell. Bakit hindi ka na makapag-ihi? Kasi hindi na makagawa ng ihi dahil sila ang iyong nephron. But after supplying with nucleotides, your body is still able to rebuild new cells. In this case, for kidney failures, for those patients that were given nucleotides, they develop new neurons. And that is the very reason that can explain why a patient with three five dialysis abnormal dialysis and urine is already produced. Palakpakana. Very amazing. I want to read it. Even myself, because I just joined a company last April. At saka, actually, to tell you frankly, kung titignan mo sa point of view ng cell repair, pag maraming kang nucleotides, hindi ka tatanda. Bakit? Yung mga nasira yan na cell, yung mga uh, natak na dyan ay 